Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a news breaking exposing the hypocrisies breaking the bias and showing you the bare bones of the matter you're only gonna get it the smart agenda A gunman who opened fire during an outdoor choir performance Sunday on the steps of New York City's Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine. The suspect was himself shot and wounded by police. The shooter had fired on police, but no officers or bystanders were believed to have been injured. If we look at all of the news coverage on the matter, not mentioning the fact that I checked my news apps and I couldn't find the story anywhere. It was only when a brother messaged me and I searched it up, then I was like, damn, this is actually a thing. And after I was looking at all the news coverage, gunman, gunman, flipping gunman, no mention of terrorist, extremist or Christian. So this guy turns up with a full can of gasoline a bunch of knives and guns in both hands. Either he is a very well equipped terrorist or he's going for an audition of the Joker. Nothing in his pockets but knives and lint. Look what I did to this city with a few drums of gas and a couple of bullets. So the news organizations are like, so that still doesn't explain his political religious motivations. There needs to be something concrete, something solid. Alright, no problem. So number two, this guy has a bible with him and he starts shooting outside a church at the police. The news guys are like, yeah but it's still not enough. Um, uh, he's not brown frankly yeah and he didn't say Allah Akbar. This is absolutely ridiculous. The guy has all the hallmarks of a terrorist but yet the label is not there. I think they're keeping the label nice and shiny and clean <laughs> just in case a brown guy does something it's game over mate. He goes to get milk, he trips up and lands on an old lady. Terrorism mate yeah he's terrorizing the old lady with flipping milk. God knows what these mugs are gonna come up with next. The hypocrisy from this story is very clear yeah and another hypocrisy is come out I think earlier this month where the courts have found the UK guilty of war crimes in Iraq. And <laughs> look at the news heading, they say but they won't take action. I, I, I honestly I'm, I'm speechless, I, I honestly don't know what to say. War crimes have taken place in an illegal war that caused the rise of ISIS. There undeniably would be no ISIS if we had not invaded Iraq. ISIL is a direct outgrowth of Al Qaeda in Iraq that grew out of our invasion which is an example of unintended consequence. I mean the UK had certain deals with radicals in the UK, yes, yes indeed. They knew radicals were here and they had a good deal with them because they were monitoring them and they could monitor other countries abroad. Long story mate, a good book is by Mark Curtis called Secret Affairs and the courts are like yeah but it's a bunch of brown people frankly. I mean is it no wonder that people are becoming radicalized and I'm sick and tired yeah of BBC and Sky having these hour-long specials and discussions on LBC. I mean, what, what is causing radicalization? I mean what do you think it is Dave? I don't know Robbie frankly, I mean I've, I've got a PhD coming out my nostril, I've got a master's degree coming out my ear hole, flipping I still can't figure it out mate. Even though these people flipping tell you, they tell you why they're doing it, they're peeved off and you know what I'm actually ashamed that I fell into this trap of them pointing fingers at Islam. Islam is the threat this country faces. I think Islam hates us. And me as an innocent young guy who would watch the news for education because I was at school and I, and I had to but then when I started watching it flipping everywhere oh Islam this and Islam that. Now after taking time out and analyzing these news stories, not the ones that are put on the front page but actually going to page 10, page 11, actually going to other news uh, outlets, I've actually been hustled and I hope you guys watching realize the hypocrisies also. I've compiled an entire playlist where I have analyzed these news stories to show and expose these hypocrisies, check it in the description. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.